Leanne, a very good morning to you. How are you this morning? It feels, Leanne, I feel terrible. The only time we see me, you and I talk is we're talking about Manchester United. You must be so depressed. <laughs> um, I wouldn't go that far. Morning, guys. Morning, I mean, morning, Leanne. It was difficult because it's like, you know, when you try to have like all different answers, you go through different things, you listen to people's different opinions that go to the games. I go to the games and I'm not working. I go in the away end. You know how much I love Man United, Ali. Yeah, of course. And I love them through the good, the bad and the ugly, right? But the thing is, one, some of the points that stick out with me is this Brighton team, and I tweeted it yesterday, you know, 16 million that team cost yeah. to put them together, right? And they've got players in the team like Lalana, Welbeck, yeah. that made Man United look silly, you mm -hmm. know? And it's weird to me because I do think there's teams like Chelsea that are way in a worse position than we are. You know, if we'd spent a billion and we'd be in that position, I'd be thinking what's going on here, right? But... When I think about people questioning, obviously the Glazers need to go. We can do a whole show talking about them. I want them out of the club. Everybody, every Man United fan does. But what I will say, I played for clubs, Ali, right, where we've not known if we're going to be in existence. And people can say, oh, you know, you can't compare women's football to men's football. I'm not. But when you step out on the football pitch, right, I'm not thinking about even our team. Are we going to even have a team next yes, week? Yes, yeah. Play for pride. You play, you could do the fundamental yeah. basics. And I feel like there's too much emphasis on the ownership. And none yeah. of the players are taking any responsibility for their performances. I mean, and I'm looking at it, and I was talking to my dad about this on Saturday night when we were watching Match of the Day. And I said, Dad, I said, what? Man United players come to Manchester United and thrive. Over the years, right, in the last five to ten years, we've got Bruno Fernandes, right? He came in. He's one of the only players that really sticks out to me that I think, do you know what? He's actually, like, done well when he first came in. Mm. Look at Manchester City. They buy players and they start straight in. Jeremy Doku, Akanji, Guardiola. Do you know what I mean? They seem to come in. Leon, tell me then. She, she looking at it. I think you're 100% right, by the way, because I think the, there's one or two problems at Manchester United, some bigger than others. The Glazers are obviously a problem. But to be fair, you know, it's not the Glazers that are, that are dropping well back for the, from that run from the middle of the park. You know, that that's Casemiro. It's, it's not the Glazers that, are, that you know, are diving into the tackle to stop um, Gross for the second goal. That was Martinez. You know, the, I, I, I tend to agree. I think pl the players have got to take more responsibility however I look at United I look at Chelsea and I look at a lot, lot of big clubs and they must be scratching their heads at the difference in the level of recruitment at the team that beat you on Saturday Brighton yeah I agree and you've also got to look at teams like Arsenal when they've got Edu in there you know somebody that knows what they're doing I mean we've had Woodward he's gone the likes of, you know, even going all the way back to when Martin Edwards was there and David Gill, that was when we were a proper football club. Yeah. Now, you know, we've got the players. OK, I'm sure the uncertainty isn't good for the players. I'm not doubting that. But what I'm feeling at Man United right now is the players that seem to come in there. Casemiro came in. Everyone was questioning his, his age last year. He was brilliant, right? Mm. Now... He's kind of slotted back into the way all the players feel. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it just seems like a, a real toxic place to me. Mm -hmm. And I was quite optimistic about Man United this season. I didn't think we were going to win the league, you know, and I was probably, I was in with the guys and I was talking to them at TalkSport, a lot of the guys that support Man United and they were saying, you know, we're not good enough. We don't have elite players. And I'm going, you know, we'll be all right this year. We done all right last year, won a trophy, you know, and we seem to progress later on in the season. But now when I watch Man United, I think, what is going on? Like, I've played for managers, guys, that I, I didn't like their tactics. I didn't really like them. They probably didn't really like me, potentially. Mm -hmm. But you should play football. It, the fundamental basics of tracking back, you know, and this whole, oh, you know, I've heard some people say people should be coming after Martinez and Lindelof the way they come after Harry Maguire. They've all been poor. Yeah. So, it's, you know, it's not, oh, let's put in Harry Maguire now that Martinez has been poor. It doesn't work like that. None of them are playing well, which I don't get what's going on, like I said, because how can none of them be thriving mm. in this? Hoyland looks like a decent player. I'm not doubting that. Yeah. But there's still going to be question marks. Yeah. You know, he's not proven to bang in goals in the Premier League. And now, you know, I think Juan Bissaka has been one of our best players this mm. year. Yeah. And he wasn't even starting the other day. And, and Juan Bissaka, great 1v1 defender. We all know that. But can't, hasn't really offered that much since he came to Man United going forward. I think he improved on that. And he's the one sitting on the bench and we've recruited Regulon. You know, mm -hmm. these types of signings, I just can't get my head around it. And we have spent a lot of money. Not this window, but, you know, over all the windows, when they have put money in, the players that have come in, Anthony, you know, poor. Jaden Sancho, poor. Mm -hmm. Garnacho this year, last year, brilliant. Seems to have also slotted into that whole feeling of, like, not performing. Do you know what I mean? Yes, so if you've got all the players not performing, it, it just doesn't make sense to me.
Leanne, Talking thank like you. a true fan, oh, Leanne, uh, by as way, well. Take the words out of my mouth. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure you're passionate enough. <laughs> I've got to be honest with you. You need to give us a wee bit more. I'm going to give you a call, Leanne, OK? I love Man United too much. Aye, ah, good on you. <laughs> Lovely to talk to you. Thanks very much Thanks, for your time. Yeah. We'll speak again soon. Talk Sport Breakfast. Waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6am on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.